I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is April 17th, 2022. And in this video, I'm going to go over a simple way to convert a simple silhouette image into an SVG so you can use it in 3D printing. Okay, now for this video, I'm just going to reuse the OpenSCAD stamp template that I put out there in printables. And it, uh, you can go down there, download that. And really, we just want the template part. You can get the OpenSCAD code there and I guess the nub. And we'll kind of explain that as we go, just so we can get an SVG file. Once we make an SVG file, we can do something with it. So might as well make a stamp, right? Uh, and for those who are unfamiliar with this, I did do a video on it. So it's called 3D Printing, Creating Stands with Open SCAD and Fusion 360. You can go check that out. I just put that up there a few days ago. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from start from scratch here. So I went out and looked up uh, silhouettes. So we're, if you want to go find an SVG, you can go find an SVG. It'll work just fine. But we're going to take a picture and try to change it into an SVG so that we can bring it in so which might be a more simpler thing for some people but in this case we're not going to get a complex svg we're just going to get something that's a silhouette so it's just kind of one thing so we can make a stamp out of it or you could make a magnet or something of the stuff i've been doing or like if you see some of the dinosaur signs i've been doing you can go get a dinosaur silhouette and do the same thing so we have a mr t silhouette here and so i will just drag him onto my desktop and i also found a mr tumnus one here and this one's going to probably show a lot of issues, so that'll be a good one where we can see some issues. Uh, oh, I guess I already copied him out. Oh, he's got the same name. Ah. Let's see. We'll copy and replace, and we'll call him Mr. T. Mr. T. Boom. And we'll just copy that one over. I'm going to spell Mr. Tumnus wrong, but we'll see. Okay. And then the easiest way I found, uh, really, I mean, you can, the easiest, simplest way that's repeatable is you go here to svgcreator.com and you just upload the image. So I can just take this image, drag it in here, convert the file, watch an advertisement. And then as it makes it, boom, hit download. And we'll show this in the finder. And doo -doo -doo, I'll take this. And over here, I've already downloaded. Um, I'm making here. Here is the stamp template and the stamp template handle and the nub. You need those from that file, from that uh, thing I posted out in printables. We'll drag this over here. We'll call it Mr. T. And then we'll do the same thing with Mr. Tumnus, which I think is going to have issues. Now, if I go down a little bit here, I can say convert another file. And there, there are many other ways to do this. Just a, this is a lazy, easy way, convenient way to do it online. That so far has gotten me pretty good results with silhouettes. Okay, so we'll drag that one over here. Boom, boom, boom. We'll say Mr. Thomas. Okay. Now I'll open up this guy and here is the stamp and what we'll, we'll remove this corgi section. We'll call it a Mr. T section right now. And now this is the stamp is working except for the corgi SVG. I removed that. So it's going, Hey, I can't find the corgi SVG. I can't show that part of it. So we're replaced with Mr. T and run it. And we should see, boom, there's a Mr. T stamp. Now that's uh, a little bit different shape, so we want to fix that a little bit. Let's see. This one actually should work pretty good. It looks really nice. Um, let's see. And then I need to adjust this stamp a little bit. So we'll say, eh, we'll say 20 and 40 and see what that looks like. Boom. A little wider. 22.5. Oh, 23. 23. Uh, 23.5. There we go. And then I can make Mr. T a little bigger. And it looks like I can adjust him a little bit more to the left. I'll say zero. Okay, he centers pretty good. Okay, I can go a little bit bigger on him if I want to use all that space. Perfect. And I don't need to make it so tall, so we can do, drop it down to 35. Oh, there you go. Boom, Mr. T. And we'll save that. 
So we'll generate it. And so this one looks really good. I think this one will work really well, uh, but I don't think the other one will without some tweaks. Okay, so we'll save this off. We'll say Mr. T uh, stamp, boom. And then I'll go over here and I have uh, I'll replace that with, well, I'll just cut this whole section up because I want to leave that there. And I'll get rid of all this rest of the stuff that I'm not doing. And I'll say Mr. Tum this section. And I'll do a select all this and do control D to comment that whole section out. And I'll say Mr. Tumness. And we should see Mr. Tumness. Well, I don't know, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, but there are some issues. Well, you're not gonna see the issues here. It's gonna come out okay. Okay, so that we'll leave it like that, but we'll increase the size here. We'll make it a square stamp. Okay, not quite, not bad. Okay, but one thing you can see here, you see all that little lettering? We're gonna have to get rid of that. We're not gonna get rid of it right now, but we'll show how there's probably some other issues in here too. So we'll render this one. Uh, it took a little while, but not too awful bad. And we'll call this Mr. Tumnus Stamp, boom. Okay, now if I bring them both into uh, the Prusa Slicer, we should see some interesting results. I think Mr. T is going to be great, but I think Mr. Tumnus is going to be a good example of when things go wrong. Or when, you know, you're going to, well, I'll explain. So watch I'll slice this. And we're going to see, we'll raise this up to where we see this, okay. So Mr. T, all his lines are thick, all his lines work really well, so it just works pretty well. Now with this one, we got a problem. Those, uh, well, a couple of problems. One of our problems goes away. All that lettering was so small, it went, I can't do anything with this. But also you see the rest of this, it's not too bad, but you see like his umbrella is gone. It became so thin that it's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to remove all that text and also thicken up some lines. And also, there's sometimes when you can't make a stamp small enough that'll work. So one thing I have been doing, if I have to admit to myself I can't make a stamp as small as I'd like to, what I'd do is I'd take four of them as is and just increase the size. I say 150, I say 125, 150, and 200. And I bet you at one of these sizes, we'll see the umbrella come back. So if I slice it, and sometimes if you just have to increase it by 125, you say, hey, I gotta make it bigger, and that's just all I can do. Uh, other times you go, oh man, I gotta, I gotta fix it. So there you go, you can see, oi oi. Even the biggest one, you can see part of the umbrella's back, but not much, that, that line needs to be thickened. Okay. So let's wipe that all out. Let's take that. Uh, we're gonna have to go actually, we can go take the image itself. In my case, I got Photoshop running here, but you could take the actual image because we'll kind of continue with the idea of the image, not gonna edit the SVG file itself. And I'll just edit this file. I'll copy it, make a new one. And I'll say, okay, I'm gonna wipe out that part. Don't need that. Say okay. I'm also gonna go down here and say, yeah, I'll say select inverse, copy, boom, hit okay. And then now I'm gonna make this really big and see what, if anything, that I can fix just by using the pencil tool in this case. Now, this is, this is not really an Adobe uh, tutorial. I'm not that great at Adobe. But this is an example of what I need to do. So you can come down here and say, I need to thicken that line. Okay. 11 will probably do. We'll come down here to that umbrella and say, I need to just thicken it, which might look a little funny on the picture, but once we start 3D printing it, 
it's probably going to be better. Increase that. Try to get rid of some of these smaller lines. By either deleting them or just thickening them up. In this case, I'm going to thicken a lot of them up. And or attach them to the side. Okay. Now I can spend all day long here. Something I'm not going to fix. I'm not going to fix these little dealy bobs at the end. That'd take too long. Or here, there's still going to be some problems with this. But we'll show, we'll show that we've made some improvements. So I'll go to desktop. I'm going to really give it a name because I'm not going to use it very much. Okay, so there's that second version. We'll come here to that. We will convert another file and then drag our updated one in there. Convert it. Download this guy. And we should hopefully see some improvements when we bring it in. There we go. Bring that guy in. Mr. Tum. We'll call him Mr. Tumnus2. And I'll just do an underscore 2 here, and we'll try to render it again. Okay, we'll save that STL, and I'll call it number two stamp, right? Okay, so now, boom, boom, boom. Bring this guy up, and we go drop Mr. Tumnus 2 and the first one, so we can see the difference. Boom. Now let me slice them, and we should see a, a big difference. There you go. So now you can see, may not be perfect, and I could work on this more, but I see I got an umbrella, even though it's a little bit of a wavy one. And I got that land back, and I got some of those details back. Uh, I only got so much to work with, because, and I got his little, uh, that his tail, I think. But over here, I still got a problem. So you can kind of go back and forth. You, don't, you know, you got to think, we're not going to get that much fidelity, that much detail in here. So you got to iconify it. You got to make it a little bit less, a little bit bigger detail. So... But anyway, I got. I think that would be adequate. I think it would work. But there you go, Mr. T and a Mr. Tumna sticker. Two Mr. T's. So there are other, now there are other ways. So there, here's a, this is a simple way to take a silhouette using a web interface and making and get you to using a web using a web tool to convert it to a simple SVG file. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this. It works pretty well. There's a lot of silhouettes out there you can go look for. Um, but also, you know, there's other ways, to, other ways to do this. There's also ways you can just go find an S a file as an SVG to begin with. Um, and I might cover some of those in, in upcoming videos. Some people are pointing to me some, some better resources, so we'll see how that goes. But with all that, with all of that, let's wrap this up. Uh, 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge and take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others. And you can make amazing designs. So design it, engineer it. I'm going to have to post that Mr. T stamp. And maybe even Mr. a Mr. T magnet. If I don't, it is I who will be the one to be pitied. On another note, I'm having some good luck, first success, with this Rock Monster plug. I think it's going to work.